Luis Patino. He beat the Red Sox last year, his only decision against them in regular season, but he lost a game in the ALCS when Christian Vasquez took him deep, a 13th inning walk-off homer. That is strike three called at the very bottom of the zone. Tommy Pham thought it was low. And the Rays right-hander Patino starts this game chalking up a strikeout. And here's Verdugo. Alex at 283. Eight homers. There's a drive. Him in the right field. It's deep. Back toward the wall. It goes. And Verdugo hits his ninth home run. And the Red Sox have a one nothing lead. Oh, he turned on that pitch and hit a screamer. Verdugo finds a young Red Sox fan by the on-deck circle, comes over to the netting, gives him a fist bump. He is feeling good walking back into that third base dugout. And how about this last of the game, Sandu with a base hit. And as of this moment, he has taken over the batting lead in the American League. Luis Arise and he were tied coming in. Arise is 0 for 4 today. So Xander is the top dog in the batting race in the American League. Here's a breaking ball grounded back toward Patino. He knocks it down, picks it up, underhands it the first in time to get Story, and that will retire the side. Red Sox have very good feelings when this guy's on the mound. 10 and 1, Michael Waka with a 2.56 ERA. That's going to drop in the center, a base hit, a big hop, and Kike Hernandez makes the pickup. So Margot is aboard to start this thing. It's a looper into center field. That's going to fall. A big hop out there. Hernandez with the pickup, throw back to second. And a good read by Margot, who advances to third. Met on the corners. The Rays trying to answer the run in the top half of the inning. Put together a threat. Met on the corners for Harold Ramirez. He takes this one into right center. That's going to fall for a base hit. That will score Margot. The game is tied, and Ramirez comes through. Driving in his 49th run of the year. It's a 1 1 ball game. So, key spot for Devers, trying not to miss this opportunity. Two on and two out. It'll float that one to center. Sit. Here comes Sit. Siri. It drops in. Here comes the run. Now you were yelling for it to sit, sit. <laughs> Good dog. Raphael take the RBI is 73rd. Sox up two to one. The Red Sox have a lead. It's two to one. And here's the red hot Trevor story. Story drives one down the left field line, and that's going to be a fair ball. That's going to be extra bases. Verdugo has scored. Devers comes to third. He'll have to hold there. It's a wall ball RBI double for Trevor story. He stays hot, and it's three one Red Sox. Christian Bethencourt grounded is short his first time up. The 2 2 pitch to Bethencourt is popped up. Down the right field line, giving chase is Casas in the foul territory. This ball lands it. It's a fair ball right on the line. Heading to second, Bethacourt. He's in there with a bloop double. Verdugo couldn't get there. Casas couldn't. I thought it was heading foul, but it landed just fair. And the Rays get a very lucky double off the bat of Christian Bethancourt. 2-2. Two -two, hit right back. Walk has a play. He'll go to third. Rafi with a tag. From down on the knees and a nice play to get the lead runner Bethencourt. He's cut down at third. Right here, plays in front of him. Walker does a great job of reading it, knowing that he's got plenty of time at first base to get that out if he doesn't go to third. Good job by Rafi to get over. Here he is. 0 for 1 today with ground ball down to first. There's a ground ball going to be backhanded by Story and an off balance throw safe at first. 3 1 Red Sox in the fifth. One on, one out. So Walker has to make another 2 2 pitch to a dangerous hitter. 18 home runs for Randy. A runner on the move and the ball hit back into deep left. That's got some carry going to be off the wall over the head of Cordero. Here comes Siri. He will score. And a Rosarena. Trotting around second base, and you see Cordero down on the warning track. And he's still down on his knees, and uh, now he's doubled over out there. It's yeah. three to two, Boston. Uh oh, grabbing at his right ankle. That was really awkward looking. He got turned around on the shot. Looks like he's feeling for that right ankle area. Oh no, he caught it on the he caught it on the wall. His foot. So Franchi needing help. 
to hobble off and the Red Sox have lost their left fielder for the day on a double by Rosarena that went all the way to the fence. So for the fourth time Michael Waka's one strike away from number 1000 in his career and into the wind he goes the 3 2 pitch swing and a miss he struck him out there's number 1000 in the career for Michael Waka and it is likely the final pitch he will throw here today he leaves the ball game of the Red Sox leading it 3 to 2 1000 career strikeouts for Michael Waka and from his teammates as they toss the baseball back to the dugout Sander looking to tie Jim Rice Kevin Euclid and Roy Johnson with nine consecutive multi hit games Jim Rice joining us Jim does it happen here for Xander I hope so hopefully it happens this inning I'm just waiting for him to get that one a little more down where he rifles it into right field there it is and there it is a base hit into right field his <laughs> second knock as both Uke. And Jim predicted there it is that is a club record tying nine consecutive games with multi hits tying Kevin Euclid Jim Rice and Roy Johnson. You know, you got, I'm, glad, I'm glad for bogey keeping that notary busy with all these the important baseballs today. Margot bats against the drawn in infield and sends one into right center field that's going to be in there extra bases. Bruin scores to tie the game. Margot now to second with a double, and he's in scoring position. 3-3 three, three ball game. Margot moves to third. A two out runner at third. It'll be Kelly against Peralta. Peralta swings and rolls along. First fair ball. It gives the Rays the lead. All the way into the corner. Margot scores the go-ahead run. Peralta to second with an RBI double, and it's a 4-3 Rays lead in the seventh. Peralta's ninth double. Since coming to the Rays and a big hit right there to get the Rays the lead. He's ready. 2-2 pitch. Ground ball left side. Backhanded. Here's the throw to second. Out. Nice pick. And the throw to first gets away. And here goes Verdugo to second. So the tying run will be in scoring position as the throw there is late. Oh. And fairly close. And he ran into uh, Bruhan, who's hurt. Bruhan on his hands and knees might have been spiked. Yeah, I think he was spiked. He's in a lot of pain. So Bruhan assisted off the field. Bodugo, he's the tying run at second. But now you've got an opportunity. 2-2 two -two count. One more well-executed pitch and end this ball game. Strike three call. Rays win it. 99 at the knees. And the Rays are winners 4-3. They win their 75th game of the year. Pat and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.